What is going on guys? KS here bringing you another video and today we are back Hard for episode point. number 4 of my Anchor Guide series. Today we are going to be looking at Stronghold Hardpoint. Oh my goodness. The amount of chokes I have experienced on this map. But I know exactly why. And I'm going to be guiding you how to win Stronghold Hardpoint as an anchor. So, starting off on this side, this is considered the good side. As an anchor, you're going to be going for mid control pretty much all game long. The first place you're going to be looking at is this window cutout area. That is the most likely place for them to be. If they don't pop their head there, which probably there's a 5% chance that will happen that they don't peek. It's quite likely they're going to be in that contest spot over there, sitting in the corner. And basically, it's all down to your sub players to kill him. Do not push him. You're going to be holding this, you're going to be holding from mid cut and window side, be careful some people might rush you from top mansion, but you watching over this hill will make your sub players a lot more easy on the nerves, because uh, they'll be very confident that you can pick up the kills. Spawning from the other side, pretty much just the exact opposite, going in this window cut out, killing off the player that's in uh, fireplace, watching your top mansion. However, at 25 seconds, you are going to rotate all the way through bunker. I see people trying to rotate through mid. You don't want people to know that you're rotating. That's why you're rotating a little bit earlier at 25 seconds. You're going to be pushing all the way through this bunker side. And at 15 seconds from spawning on this side, you're going to push all the way through highway and into this back area. Now, you have a couple of spots that you could either push. Now, the first spot is this spot here. I think this is an absolutely dirty spot because you can watch a little bit of highway, you can watch bunker, so you're not really going to get flanked. The only place you're really vulnerable from is this top mansion side, and let's be honest, this this side is kind of quite aggressive with people going top mansion. So if you don't have your player top mansion, then you this side is going to become very difficult to hold, because of course they're going to kill the anchor, and they have full control of this hill, even if you're in it. If your sub players cannot kill the player top mansion, then I suggest you going here, which is... Uh, kitchen table this is all the way so you can watch warren and you can watch your top mansion again you're very vulnerable from the actual anchor spot itself so be wary of that identified. at 25 seconds you're going to push all the way through here don't push through rocks you again you don't want people to know you're rotating you want to push all the way around this outskirts either going on this wall run or challenging and going all the way around either in satellite or in the back because your anchor spot is going to be all the way back here Depending on where your team is spawning, if your team is spawning bunker, then you want to be sitting here, watching satellite. Your team will have mid-cut. If they, if your teammate calls out someone's rushing mid-cut, do not challenge him. Run away and get some get some ground. You're in such a bad position to be challenged from mid-cut, so don't challenge anything from up there. Otherwise, you're going to be watching the satellite. If, however, you are spawning in this area, then you want to go all the way back here and sitting on this back truck. Not the greatest head glitch in my opinion, but it does work for some people and it does sometimes work for me as well. You can watch mid cut and you can watch satellite. If all else fails and you are struggling to pick up kills, you can always sit all the way back here where you can watch outskirts and you can watch mid cut. You can't really watch satellite, but you can just go on the other side. But this spawn right here is essential because this, uh, the next hill after this is rocks. And you need the same spawns. So these net last two hills, this hill and the last one, these are your two hills that you can pick up probably the most time if your anchor is playing well. For this hill, you're not going to be sitting in the anchor, you're going to be sitting all the way back to here, and you're going to be basically just watching over. You could probably head glitch on this satellite bit here, and watch Tom Mansion. Just be wary that some players might push all the way through mid-cut, and push you in the spawn here. But otherwise, you're basically just going to be watching over your team. Communication is key for this hill because, of course, if someone's going to go back satellite, your teammates can spot that. Otherwise, they will be spawning if they're if they're spawning in this area. Sorry, they're going to be spawning bunker. So you better get moving because they are going to rush you like hell. Um, apart from that, once you reach, I think it's around 20, 25 seconds, depending on how your team is playing, you're going to rotate all the way through the outskirts area and go on the wall run, all the way around here and all the way back here and into these spawns here. This area is quite tricky to hold down, but this is considered money hill, so your sub players have got a real chore. Usually you have a purifier in this hill because it's absolutely key and essential in that hill. If your team are spawning in this area, then you can just sit on this head glitch here, and you can pick people off for that are peaking bunker, otherwise 
you can just sort of lie down and just sort of hold down highway or mansion side. If for some reason you cannot get these anchor spawns and you're going to be pushing from the other side, do not push bunker. I can guarantee you're not going to succeed. Instead, you want to push through this mid area and try and gain control by going pushing through highway and just predict that there's going to be either someone in square or on that head glitch. Just be aware of that. Again, at around 10 15 seconds, you're going to want to rotate through this highway and get mid control. This hill is not so deeming on the early rotations, but it is quite stressful on the anchor, and it also depends on how good your team is. If your sub slayers are struggling and your objective player cannot pick up the time, then your anchor will become useless because, of course, if they have the hill, your anchor spots are going to be completely useless because there's going to be no one to actually support actually holding the hill. As such, be wary, you may end up having to become an AR Slayer and if necessary have a subclass on if you're an anchor for this map because of course you may have to pull the sub out and you may have to actually you know, assist your team. So, overall this map is not the, mo uh, the trickiest one but in my opinion the third and fourth hill rotation is key and a lot of stress is going to be on you even if you don't get any of the first two hills any time on it you can make a lot of time if you can hold this anchor spot very very well it all depends on how well your team is playing but that's everything for stronghold hard, hard point, point next identified. episode is going to be the last episode of the hard point it is going to be fringe hard point of course fringe is probably my weakest map I'm always looking to improve it because, of course, there's a lot of head glitches. But we will get to that in the uh, next episode, which will be next Monday. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to press the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, so you don't miss that video. And, yeah, that's everything from me. My name is Mr. Kit 102 and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.